Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today on the channel, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I have had this fine gentleman primed and sitting on my painting desk for a very long time. You can tell because of all the colour swatches I've painted on his stand. This is The Detective, my favourite miniature from the Curse of the Mummy's Tomb game by Games Workshop, which has been languishing part painted for far too long. Today, I'm taking a step towards rectifying that by painting up The Detective. This miniature is lovely. It has a real Humphrey Bogart flavour, and it is elegantly simple yet still packed with character. The laconic hand in pocket, the snarl on his face, the gun held ready but down at his side partly concealed. He is absolutely inappropriately dressed for exploring a pyramid in the desert, but who cares when you look this cool. A nice simple miniature like this requires a nice simple paint job, so I have started with a spray undercoat of Chaos Black, and then we are going to do all the colouring with a very limited colour palette, first applying all the base coats and shades, and then going back for highlights. To start, we need some Ulthuan Grey. We are going to paint this on the shirt and tie. We are doing this first because it's a bit hard to get into, and at the moment it doesn't matter if we paint over surrounding areas. When that's dry, we are going to give it a quick wash with Null and Oil. This is going to give us instant recess shading, and we can go pretty heavy with this. Next, we are switching to Cadian Flesh Tone. We're going to thin it slightly and apply two coats to the face and the gun hand. We don't want to get any on the shirt, but other than that, it doesn't matter if we overpaint on the surrounding areas. We just want to get a nice, smooth base coat down. For the shading on the skin, we are obviously going to use Reichlin Flesh Shade. One wash of that will bring out all the lovely details on that grumpy face. Next, we are going to use good old Xandri Dust for the raincoat. Xandri Dust is just the right sort of beige. And again, we are thinning it down and we are going to apply two coats for smooth coverage. Then I'm switching to Seraphim Sepia and I'm going to shade the coat. Seraphim Sepia is a great shade for Xandri Dust, and it's going to give a really cool, dirty raincoat look. We can then immediately move to Steel Legion Drab and apply two thin coats of this to the Trilby and the trousers. You can see I'm going for a very brown colour scheme here. Of course, you can pick some brighter colours if you want to. Anyway, we are going to shade the trousers and the hat with Agrax Earthshade. One quick coat, we just need to be careful not to overspill onto surrounding painted areas. Then we go on to Eschen Grey for pretty much everything else on the miniature. We are going to paint the belt, the gun, the shoes, the band on the hat, and the little buttons on the coat. Keep the paint thin and go carefully here, applying two coats if you need to for good coverage. We are going to wash that grey, but first we need to put just a little lead belcher on the belt buckle. As always, I've thinned this down, and I'm using a brush with a decent point just to roughly line in where the buckle is. Once that's dry, we can switch to Nuln Oil and wash all of the metal and grey. Don't go too heavy with this wash, we don't want it going everywhere. And at this point you could actually stop, you have quite a nice looking piece, but we are going to go back to do some layering and put in a few extra details. First we get some white scar, which is a really bright pure white. We are going to put just the smallest amount on the collar of our detective shirt for a little highlight and to make sure it looks like a white shirt. Then I'm going to thin some Evil Sun Scarlet and paint in the tie, before adding a little Fire Dragon Bright to the Evil Sun Scarlet for a tiny spot highlight to make sure the tie stands out a bit. Then we can switch to our Cadian Flesh Tone, thin it slightly and apply it to the raised surfaces of the face and the gun hand for a quick highlight. The detective's eyes are a bit squinty and mainly concealed by his hat, so I'm going to go for the easy option and not paint them. Next, we are going back to Xandri Dust, thinning it right down so it's almost a glaze. You can use Lamian Medium for this if you want to make sure the paint has good control even when thinned. And we are going to layer up some highlights on the coat. Just a few thin coats, gradually building up the colour on the most raised surfaces, while avoiding getting any paint in the recesses. If you should get any paint in the recesses, remove what you can with a clean brush, and then carefully reapply the Seraphim Sepia shade in the recesses. That will get you back to your starting point. Then I am switching to Steel Legion Drab and we're going to do the same thing, thinning it right down with Lamian Medium and layering up some colour on the trousers and the hat. We don't have to be so precious here as we were with the coat. Then we are going to get some Dawnstone. Guess what, we're thinning it down, and we are going to use this on the belt and the band on the hat, just to brighten those up and help to break up those areas of brown and beige. 
finally, I'm going back to Eshin Grey and I'm going to do a little edge highlight on the gun. Very, very subtle. I just want to make sure the detail of it isn't lost. And I will also do a little highlighting on the shoes. And with that, we are finished except for the base. For that, I'm going to put down a layer of Astro Granite texture paint. I'm using a texture tool here, but when I get close to the feet, I switch to an old brush because I find that easier. When that's completely dry, I'm going to thin down some Xandru dust with water so it flows really easily, and I'm going to paint over the Astro Granite. I'm only doing one coat, so it's a bit patchy, and that is by design. Then I am switching to Seraphim Sepia, and I'm going to wash the base. This is going to help define the texture of the base while making everything look a bit more yellowy and sandy. Then it's back to Xandru Dust to do a little dry brush. I'm using a small brush here to make sure I don't get any paint over the miniature. And then I'm doing the same thing with Screaming Skull. Just a very light dusting on the most prominent parts of the base. To finish it all off, I'm using Steel Legion Drab. We're going to put two thin coats of this around the rim of the base. And there we have it, our detective is ready to brave the pyramid in search of treasure and probably die horribly at the hands of the mummy. This was a really nice quick and easy paint job and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I hope you found the guide interesting, if you enjoyed the video please consider pressing the like button, if you really enjoyed the video please consider subscribing if you don't already do so, and hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye everyone, bye bye.